I've got the full range of the Shure in-ear monitors in front of me here. They might look very similar. However, I'm gonna take you through the differences between the budget-friendly to the more premium so that you can find out why you would choose one over the other. Any monitors can help you give the best performance possible. This is because you can clearly hear yourself, other bandmates, backing tracks, and click tracks all on stage. You can also create your own individual mixes so you can hear exactly what you want to hear on stage. Using any monitors means that you don't need to use floor wedges anymore, which can bring down the overall sound. This can really help protect your ears just a little bit more. So you need to plug your monitors into something. Usually when performing, you'll plug them into a wireless monitoring system. This is great when performing because you get the freedom of the stage and you can get your clear mix no matter where you are. You can use a personal wired monitoring system as well, which is hardwired in. However, this is a bit better for being in the studio because you don't really need to move around as much, but you can still get that crystal clear audio that you might need. All of the Shure SE series come with the same three features. They can block out up to 37 decibels of sound so you can really protect your ears. They have changeable ear tips so you can choose different sizes depending on your ears to get a more comfortable fit and they all come with their own carry cases. However, with the carry case, as you move further up the range to the more premium, the carry case does get more premium. Sure have five options to choose from, all have something different to offer, from straight cable to over ear, to different color combinations, as well as the amount of drivers that are within them. In the Shure SE range, we can go from single driver all the way up to quad driver. Drivers allow the frequencies of the in-ears to be as accurate and clear as possible. If you have multiple drivers, it can split the frequencies up within the in-ears. So for example, if you have a dual in-ear monitor, one driver will be more tailored towards the low frequencies and the other one would be more towards the high frequencies. This gives you a more accurate and clear sound for a much better sounding mix. So the SE112s are the most budget friendly in the range. They have a single dynamic driver and a frequency response between 25 Hertz all the way up to 17 kilohertz. And with this single driver and frequency range, they still provide incredibly detailed, accurate audio for the best mix possible. They're perfect for someone that's just getting into using in-ear monitors and might use them in a practice room or someone that wants to just try them out for a little bit and just see how they get on with some in-ear monitors. The SE215s are probably the most popular option in the SE range. This is because they are incredibly budget friendly, but yet they give incredibly accurate detailed audio. They come in a range of different colors. The ones I have here are the clear ones, but you can also get black and blue. So there's always a color for you to choose from. And they're gonna be great for a musician that is touring and gigging quite a lot because they have a removable reinforced Kevlar cable. So they're incredibly robust and will last a long time, as well as the audio being very accurate and clear for your onstage mixes. So the 425s have similar features to the 215s, such as the removable cable, but where they differ is that they have a dual driver inside them. This dual driver extends the frequency range just a little bit more, so it is now 20 hertz to 19 kilohertz. Also, the frequency response is a little bit more dedicated to those lower mids, which would be great for guitarists and bassists. Next, we have the SE535s, and with these 535s, have an extra driver within them, so they are now a triple driver. Uh, this extra driver is more dedicated to the lower frequencies, uh, so our frequency response is now extended a bit more to 18 hertz, all the way up to 19 kilohertz. The lower frequencies within the 535s are really good for bassists, and they're really popular with bassists because you get that extra detail in that uh, lower frequency that bassists want. And they also come in a nice red color. So if you're looking for the best sound possible on stage, then you should be looking towards the SE846s. The SE846s have four built-in drivers for maximum accuracy and clarity for your onstage mix. They have a subwoofer type quality that allows you to get clear, crisp sounding low end frequencies to make sure that that low end is not muddy or washed out in any way. The interesting thing about the 846s is that you can completely change their sound signature. New for September of 2022, these are now the second generation of the 846s and they come with four different filters built into them that completely change the sound depending on what you want to use them for. 
So I have the filters in front of me here. I've already removed the red one from the SE846s as that's the one that comes pre-installed when you buy them. The red filter gives you an extended frequency response, which targets the frequencies of four kilohertz up to 12 kilohertz to give you more of an airy feel with your mixes. The black and white filters both target the same frequencies of one kilohertz to eight kilohertz. However, the black filter cuts those frequencies by 2.5 decibels to give you more of a round sound, and the white filter boosts those frequencies by 2.5 decibels to give you more of a brighter sound. The blue filter is just a balanced, flat frequency response, so the in-ears will just sound how the in-ears sound. And to install the filters, all you need to do is just pop them into that small hole right there. When you combine the amazing sound quality and the customizable filters of the SE846s, they are totally unmatched and they're on the same level that you would expect from custom molded in-ears. They're perfect for every single band member and especially someone that's looking to get pro sounding audio on stage. The Shure SE series of in-ears deliver such amazing sound, it would be a shame just to use them on stage. But with the Shure True Wireless Adapters, you're able to connect your in-ears to your phone, laptop, or tablet, and listen to music wherever you are. There's also a wired version of this, which is called the Shure Uni Cable, and you can listen to music and take calls with that cable as well. So if you're looking to take your performance to the next level, hear yourself better on stage, or start using click tracks live, then in-ear monitors are a must. The Shure SE series of in-ear monitors are perfect for all musicians at any level. So if you have a pair of these, let me know what you think of them, and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.